people have different views on who has the best food wall. Some people said maybe it's the Oppo Find N because it has the best size with the four single-handed wall when it's unfolded. Some people say it's the owner Magic V because you know it's an all-round fold wall. The specs are good, the uh, screen are gigantic, but people have the same view on who has the worst fold wall. That's the Xiaomi Mix Fold 1. That's not even a joke. <laughs> and today, we have the Xiaomi Mix Fold 2. Is it still the worst foldable on the market? Let's check a bit more in this video. Hey, what's up? I'm Sammy. Let's get started. Starting with the unboxing. So here is the Xiaomi Mix Fold 2 packaging for engineered with Leica. Ooh. Some basic information here, like 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Unlike this usual Xiaomi phone boxes, this one, Ooh, you open like this, all right? <laughs> Xiaomi Mix Fold. This is VIP service with some, uh, okay, nothing, just a paperboard. Let's put it in this is the phone. Oh, this is really lightweight. <laughs> Here we have some paperwork and nothing else. Then we have a USB Type C data cable and we have the 67 watts power adapter. All right, now let's take a quick look at its design. So on the top, we have the SIM card slot and the speaker. And also we have the mic and the infrared blaster. And also we can see sound by Harman Kardon. Move to the side, we have nothing on this side. Now also we see the power key and the volume rocker. And then that's the outer screen feels much, much comfortable to hold, to view. All right, we'll get to that in a second. Move on, we have the Type-C port and the mic and also the speaker. And this is the hinge. Ooh, maybe like this. This is like the best way. You may care about the crease, so let me just view it in different angles. From this way, Oh, from this way, maybe you can see, maybe you can see a little bit of the crease, but once you light up and the view from a normal angle, seems all good, right? By the way, there is no selfie camera on the inner screen. Okay, and that's the inner screen. I will just list all the specs on the screen and you can check it out. And also we have the camera module. Uh, it's co-engineered with Leica. Great, that's it. Also, specs is here. You can check it out. Oh, I like, really like this kind of uh, matte finish. It's just crazy good. I like it. I really, really like it. Ooh, or, so that's the design. My first impression is like, wow, gosh, this is like really lightweight and very thin. Let me just compare it with the uh, Honor Magic V. Wow, you can see the Magic V is much, is thicker, right? I do hope like Xiaomi can get a phone case or like get a leather finish like, like on the Honor. They also have a gold color, make you look more like a successful business person like me, right? <laughs> That's a joke. Uh, this is the gold color. Uh, yesterday I said a scratch on it. That's not true because this is a fake model, right? You cannot even open it. Uh, yeah, but it's, yeah, it's like so real. <laughs> All right, now let me show you a little bit of the screen split. Like you open this app and if you want to split the screen, just use your three fingers, not this middle finger, the so three fingers, and just swipe left. So, and just swap right, all right? And you can then push the app to the right side. And here you can open the home page, home interfaces or something. Here maybe watch some videos, watch some girls, you know, and that's it. Perfect, right? What if you swipe left? Okay, let me show you. Swipe left. And then you can push the app to the left side and the home page Home interface is here. Oh, you cannot just like stop at any 
says you want, you cannot. Okay, definitely you cannot. Okay, that's the floating window. Let me check the calendar. You can also float here. Okay, you can move to anywhere you want. All right, and then you can exit just like that. Also here we have exit, so you can just exit two screen and just use this one screen. Okay, that's uh, basic. That's the basic just to control. And then let's check out the camera performance. All right. Okay, good. Let me take a selfie. How can we miss that? Okay, and let's turn back. Let's turn back. It asks me to like take a look at this way. But what if I want to use the inner screen to for video call or meeting call, right? I still want a selfie camera on the inner screen, maybe. But if it doesn't have, then it doesn't have. All right, it's like this. There's a reason for Xiaomi to design like this, because most of the time people are using the outer screen instead of the inner screen. Because people are lazy, they just feel lazy to unfold and fold it, right? <laughs> All right, let me check, take uh, some selfie photos. Portrait mode, you have stare at here. Now I think the Mi Mix Photo has the best selfies, the strongest, no one. Uh, uh, disagree on that, right? Photo. All right. <laughs> okay. Let me check. Ooh. Yeah. When you ch see the picture, you will know it's by Leica. You know, this style looks good. This guy is handsome. Let me check the portrait mode. The background bouquet fit is good. Wow, you can see this hair, the details, one here, two here, so you can see very clearly. Yeah, like I said, this has the best selfies. No one, you know, disagree with that. All right. Okay, that's it. All right, that's my simple unboxing and hands-on of the Mix Fold 2. Three things I'm impressed. First, of course, it's overall comfortability to hold. Man, this it is lightweight, like the weight is the same as the iPhone 13 Pro Max, so it should be very comfortable to, to use as your daily driver if you want it, right? And it's very thin. Second is its size. So we finally get rid of this weird TV remote control size, you know, and that's a good thing. And the outer and inner screen has the same rough shreds, so you will have the same smooth viewing experience. Third, I guess, is the innovative gesture controls. And the soft compatibility, it's good. They're just very smooth. But I think for foldables from Chinese manufacturers, Software compatibility is still a problem, and I really wish these manufacturers can put more effort on the software compatibility, especially if you want to push your foldables to the overseas market. And uh, the sixth generation foldable from Xiaomi Mix, I think Xiaomi did a good job, really did a good job. I'm willing to use it, and if you think I should do a depth review of it, please let me know in the comment section. I'm Samir, we'll see you in the next. Bye-bye.